I got into wellness probably about 15 years ago. I used to work for an IT company. I was working very long hours. I worked a lot of days, I probably do 14 hours a day, probably six, seven days a week. I went from being probably about 95 kilos to about 120. And then just one day woke up and decided I was done. Uh, and I got a personal trainer. I was in the gym 10 times a week, completely changed my diet and lost 25 kilos in about four months. And then just really enjoyed it. So then went from there and qualified into personal training. I guess it's about self-love and then what that brings into your well-being. So what I mean by that is kind of respecting yourself and then transmitting that into diet, exercise, um, how you give yourself time. I think the subject scares men, not necessarily scared, but I guess it is something that people struggle to relate to. I think that men don't generally look for help. They're, they kind of think that they should probably be quite strong and they should have all the answers. So I think men struggle to kind of get on board with ideas about meditation or about um, self-love, those kind of things. I don't really think there's enough so, uh, information on the subject for men. Um, I think mostly because men struggle to engage with uh, this kind of idea, I think it often comes across quite a little bit airy-fairy, a little bit kind of loose and not concrete. And so I think that there's some information out there, but it's just not necessarily specific to men. Um, and I think specific for men, no, no, there isn't. How do I practice wellness? I practice wellness every day by having a pretty relaxed set of goals that I essentially strive to complete. And these range from things such as nutrition, uh, exercise, training focuses, and some of them are things like, you know, uh, having a less Instagram filled life or less time on, uh, on my phone, these kind of things. Because I guess for me, wellness is, is about being more present in the moment and feeling better about myself.